the answer has always been in Sacramento. After an exhaustive investigation spanning four decades, California authorities announced the arrest of a suspect believed to be the so-called Golden State Killer. And yesterday afternoon, in a perfectly executed arrest, my detectives arrested James Joseph D'Angelo, 72 years old, living in Citrus Heights. The elusive masked killer was also known as the East Area Rapist, the original Night Stalker, and the Diamond Knot Killer. He is suspected of murdering 12 people, raping 45 others, and breaking into over 100 homes. His 12-year reign of terror lasted from, June, from uh, 1974 through May 4th of 1986. The arrest comes after police matched discarded DNA evidence from the suspect's Sacramento home with forensic evidence from the crimes. As part of this team that we were looking for a needle in a haystack, but we also all knew that the needle was there. D'Angelo has been charged with capital murder and other counts in connection with the 1980 slayings of Lyman and Charlene Smith. This 1980 murder has long been a source of fear and angst uh, in the neighborhood in which it occurred, in the community, and indeed throughout all of Ventura County. His alleged victims ranged in age from 13 to 41 and included women alone at home with their children or their spouse. According to published reports, D'Angelo was fired from the Auburn Police Department in 1979 after he allegedly stole a hammer and a can of dog repellent. The case was back in the spotlight earlier this year after a book on the Golden State Killer was published. I'll Be Gone in the Dark was written by the late Michelle McNamara, a crime journalist. The book was completed after her death by a researcher recruited by her husband, comedian Patton Oswalt. On Wednesday, Oswalt tweeted, I think you got him, Michelle.